Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our grand opening. My name is Kimberly Proslack, and I am a member of the management team here at Great Northern and Suave Hydroponics. On behalf of our entire team, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to all of you to, for taking the time to share this very exciting day with us. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Guido Van Hethoff, President and General Manager of Great Northern and Suave Hydroponics, to the stage. Good morning. Thank you very much, Kimberly. Welcome, honored guests. Thank you for attending in such great quantities today and uh, to this joyful event where we would like to officially open our energy facility. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are glad to welcome you to our latest addition to our agricultural activities here in Ontario. We are very happy to see that many of you have gathered today and we can see many honored guests from the government uh, political representation, colleagues of the industry, suppliers, staff, friends and family to our businesses. Several years ago, we started to explore suitable solutions to address the economic challenges that we were facing as a greenhouse producer. These were challenges that not only we were facing, but the entire greenhouse industry here in southwestern Ontario. The substantial economic pressures were the increased production coming from climatologic advantageous areas like Mexico and the southern US. On top of that, we saw a big increase in the cost of energy and fuel. And as a result of all that, we also saw an increase in the cost of our supplies. So after a careful analysis of the issues and the suitable alternatives at hand, the only solution we were able to identify was to develop the concept of combined heat and power to enhance our competitive position as a greenhouse producing entity. When in 2006, the Ontario Power Authority issued a public tender in the form of a request for proposal, we saw an opportunity to materialize the cogeneration concept and integrate it into our operations. After becoming a successful proponent in the CHP RFP1 process, we started the construction of the facility in 2007. We're using four reciprocating GE Embacher gas engines that combined produce a 12 an amount of 12 megawatts of reliable and flexible electricity to the electrical grid. During the process of generating electricity with natural gas fired engines, we also produce two byproducts. One, heat, the second one is CO2. The heat is being used by the 50 acre greenhouse complex in order to control and manage our climate control settings and to maintain temperature for the crop. The CO2 component from the exhaust gases is being scrubbed to food grade quality CO2 that we use for plant fertilization inside the greenhouse. CO2 being an elementary building block in the photosynthesis process in the plant. The combination of a power plant that produces electricity and the two byproducts that we, can be, that we can use on the greenhouse side is what makes this integration make sense. And because of this, the emittance of carbon into the environment is substantially reduced. This makes it a green application and a win-win all around. We were able to synchronize with the electrical grid on April 30th of 2008 and we have been a source of flexible electricity since then to the province of Ontario. We're very proud today to be the first North American innovator 
to implement this tri-gen facility and technology into our operations. Herewith, enhancing our competitive position, stabilizing our agricultural activities, and securing the vast number of jobs that come with it. Of course, all of this would have not been possible without a lot of effort and support of a large group of individuals. Therefore, I would like to take the time and express our sincere thanks, first of all, to the project group, which were Ontario Power Authority, Arad and Burles, in the person of Scott Stahl and Sam Billard, our regulatory lawyers, uh, Mr. Darren Didichuk, key component in the project team, DDA's GE Yenbacher distributor for Canada, in the person of Jan Buick, he's vice president and general manager, GE Yenbacher and their center of excellence from the Netherlands, in the person of Piet Rijn, general manager, Dick Crump, commercial project leader, and Mark Klein, project coordinator. Next to that, thanks to Union Gas, Priva Canada, Hydro One, G4 South Essex, Jan Vossel, Sleeker Global Logistics, Coal Ambassador, Hanwell for the flue gas scrubbing component, Marco Vecchio Construction, Demena Excavating, Paul Boers, Wilkinson Electric, TSSA, ESA, Peralta Engineering, Ron Colosani as one of the founders of our greenhouse facility. And next to that, a special thanks goes to the Honorable Mr. Dalton McGinty, the Premier of Ontario, for his visit and his support to the facility. The Honorable Mr. George Smitherman, Minister of Energy. Honorable Mr. Duncan, Minister of Finance and the former <laughs> Minister of Energy. The Honorable Ms. Dombrowski, Minister of Agriculture. Honorable Mr. George Garrick, the Deputy Minister of Agriculture. Mr. Jeff Watson, MPP. Mr. Bruce Crozier, a very familiar face lately to, uh, to the facility. And thank you for facilitating all the visits and all the wonderful things you've done for us. Um, town of Kingsville and its mayor and warden of Essex County, Mr. Nelson Santos. And a warm thank you for making all of this possible to materialize this idea. Our principal and owner, Mr. Anthony Suave, executive vice president for the Suave Group, Mr. E11. The staff and the management team for Great Northern and Masco Farms. And then now I would like to invite Mr. Bruce Crozier to say something.